it, so, you, so you've got like a little record of the drill. It, for anyone else who happens to watch it who wasn't here, it would probably make no sense whatsoever. But for, for those that were, it, it should be able to help you follow it, especially if you're anything like me where you leave and think, yeah, I've got that completely. And then something happens and the kind of techniques fall out of your ears during the night or something, you wake the next morning and there's bits missing. Well, hopefully the video will, will help. All right? So it's like that Kanku Dai and Shanku Drill, which follows the order of the camera, and we start taking it from the very beginning to the drop. And that's where we're going to stop on this particular drill. And, and the point is that it's a time efficient way of practicing lots of the various applications. So Jason swings it with whatever he wants to swing in with, I move into the first group. I move the arms apart so I find out where everything is. So for the sake of the, the moment, we're doing it on this side. So I find his arm, I find his head. The next movement in the camera moves at 90 degrees, so it's selling me to be at 90 degrees. So I shift to a 90 degree angle and hit it. I then return to the centre line like the camera does. I find the head from there and then I hit it back. For the sake of the drill, Jason then throws in a hook, which I'll be direct, I step down to here, being the first part of this bit. I then roll it through, bring the arm up, hook the arm on, keep it in the body, bend the arm, come through to here. The next movement in the camera goes behind, so what that's telling me is I need to be behind here. So I go, and as I go to grab it from there, Jason swings in so I don't get it, it turns. I then use my knife hand, because that's what the gun tells me to do, to push it down and straight into his neck. As he moves away from that one, I move in, and I go on the inside. So I've done one of each, one on the inside, one on the outside. I take my foot to the other side, I was using a knuckle tape to slam across the chest. It doesn't work, he manages to retain his footing. So I, I feel the hook punch that swing, so I move through from there, move my arms underneath, and I turn. So the sequence we're now looking at is the one that kind of follows it, yeah? So as I go from there, I kick, I hit back, I crank the neck back. I smash him in the face, I grab the neck from there, and I crank it again. For the sake of the drill, Jason keeps going, he goes with his left hand and body hit me with his right. I cover it and slap, I take the grip, roll over to here, and then I do the, you know, so it's the arm bar, follows on from that. Pull the head back and do the kick, but he manages to stay on his feet. He blocks my elbow too. The camera then follows uh, four knife hands. We're just going to use one of them at 90 degrees. So I bring this hand underneath, push the arm across, and go and do knife hand at 90, which Jason blocks. I then move to the next sequence in the camera, bring this arm underneath. I turn, I shoot off, I kick, I take it down. I then drop it back, we you get this bit here. Drop back, fire in the arm, pull the hair back a bit long enough, if not away from the nose, I hit twice. The camera then does this, so what it's telling me to do is get behind me. The arms are pulled down a little bit, you can see. I then cut the chin with one hand, support that with the other one, so it's like the cat is. I then put my knee out and the scroll on his back on his coxes. Okay, so I have the tailbone, the small the neck. I then drop down, so this is the bit we haven't done yet. Like the cat does, I put my knee my shoulder into the back of his hips. I put my hands on the front of his knees, not his shins, his knees, so he can't step forward. And then from there I just push. It makes him force forwards, right? Like the cat tells me. I then kick him in the groin and run off. After all that, right? So that's where the drill will end. Is that okay? If I'm going to run through it one more time, then you've got it to that point. Right, so I'm there. Find the head, hit back, squeeze him with the shot, arm down, arm up, pass through, hit, move, turn behind, I've got to do it, he does this, moves away here, look at Tay, squeeze him with the hook. <laughs> Neck cranks, grabs from there, one, two. Over, pull back, pull up the elbow, moves through, hits it, moves through here, pull it back, <laughs> pull the head back, one, two, move behind, knee, drop down, and okay? Groin kiss from the line. Is everyone okay with that? That follows the cutter in order um, and gives you a nice time for way of practicing it. And hopefully that will help you remember it. Is everyone okay to give it a go? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, we're going to play with that. Thank you, sir.